Infected eyes, missing teeth, and skin diseases. 50 dogs are now in Arizona from puppy mills in other parts of the country. And tonight, as these rescued dogs recover, a local lawmaker wants to make sure that puppy mills can't thrive in our state. Team 12's Mitch Carr joins us from Phoenix with the details you won't see anywhere else. This is Obi. He's a three-year-old French Mastiff, and he's a survivor. He's one of 50 dogs that came into the Arizona Animal Welfare League earlier this week from commercial breeding operations all over the Midwest. He may look a little bit shy and like he doesn't want anything to do with me, but where he is right now is light years beyond where he was when he came in. At first, Obi wouldn't even walk on his own, but after just a couple of days, he's even smiling. As one of the breeding studs at a puppy mill, Obi spent his days in a small cage, and his health issues were ignored. How much is that doggy in the window at that pet store? Unless it's a rescue, the cost is immeasurable because of the amount of time and the conditions that these dogs can live in so that people can buy $1,000 puppies. As far as health issues, though, Obi got off Obi. easy compared to many of the 50 other dogs. Injured eyes that needed immediate removal due to infection. We've seen hip dysplasia where dogs are having problems walking. <laughs> Prior to 2016, Phoenix and Tempe had ordinances requiring pet stores to sell shelter dogs, but a 2016 state law preempted them. What happens now is that people can source from puppy mills, which is the real problem. Dr. Amish Shah is now introducing a measure in the Arizona House of Representatives to stop the preemption and allow cities to regulate pet sales themselves. I'd like to see us use a humane model such as PetSmart and Petco use and, and uh, make sure that the, the animals we, we have coming through uh, are all coming from sources that make us feel good. There are many different breeds here at the AAWL, from an adult Great Dane like Leo here to dachshund puppies. But there's only one goal, and that's to have members of the community eventually adopt these pets. They're not quite ready yet, though, so if you're interested, make sure you contact the Arizona Animal Welfare League first. Reporting in Phoenix, Mitch Carr, 12 News.